so we are in sakeb court today i have just finished up my matter in the family court and now i'm just going to show you a bit around here this is a display board so you can see which item number is going on in which court room so this is the main building as you can see there are display boards in every building which tell you just exactly what item number is going on in which court room so even if you're sitting in the lobby you'll be able to track uh, you can do that online as well on eco's website where you can check the display board and they are very very active with the display boards in delhi courts just walking around and showing you what the chambers block looks like so the advocates chambers are in this building and there are some notices stuck on the wall clerk needed junior needed so on and so forth yeah this is a huge crowd of advocates looking to get their challans printed out this is the filing counter at the facilitation center in the main building this is the copying agency so you can get your certified copy of the orders and judgments here this is for south district um so i went there around the constitution day and this is how they decorated it to mark 26th november now this is the lock up block which means that this is where um the accused in judicial custody are kept This is where you get the e-court fee. So everything is available. So now we have taken the order. On my way to the metro station. So this is what a certified copy form looks like, and it's pretty clear in every column what you're supposed to fill out. Um, you have to also affix a certain fees before submitting the form. It depends from court to court. In some courts, you can just affix ten rupee or two rupee or five rupee. And whoever you're submitting your copy, uh, your form to, will be telling you how much fees has to be affixed. So after you fill out these columns, and these columns are pretty simple, like name of the applicant who's applying for the form. and who will pay the fee and what are the details of the case in which you are looking for the certified copy of the order for um what is the purpose or the intended use of the order that you are seeking and all of this has to be filled out and signed properly along with the court fees and then you submit the form to the copying agency the one that we have seen before today in saket court similarly in every court you have um an office where you're supposed to submit the certified copy form this is a process fee form again you can get all of these forms for 1 rupee 2 rupee from the stationery shop of the court and you just fill out the details affix the court fees and then submit the form process fee is deposited in order to issue summons or notices court notices to the opposite party in your case So if you want to enter the court and you are a visitor that means you're not a practicing advocate even if you are an intern or a law student and you want to enter the court then you have to fill out this application for the issue of your visitors pass This is a checklist and it has to be filled out in case of civil suits so you have to mention all of these details either you can draft them yourself or you can file this form these are the documents that are required to be submitted along with your bail application and you have to fill out the details on this form and submit it along with your bail application